Hi, this is uh, Neb. Um, I thought I uh, make a tutorial about uh, making a template for uh, for an object file, uh, mostly cars, because that's what I'm into. So here goes nothing. So what you need uh, for uh, uh, to make a template is the body file. So let's import a body file I got some here just made a 300 ZX uh, a UV map and let's take for example the BMW M5 uh, this is a Forza car so um, it's kinda crap but yeah uh, the UV mapping isn't all that great so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna import each of these files because you can import them uh, at once. So um, what I need to do is I'll make a template from uh, the bumper, the rear bumper, uh, the bonnet, and the trunk. Yeah, and that's about it. Oh, and a wing. So let's import the body file first. Uh, import as a single object you see this is the it's called an R vector because mostly is mm, I do it for R vector is this is the WC's car body so import this okay now let's do the front bumper uh, import and front bumper you see all these names these are all material uh, but we don't need to uh, UV map the chrome, the emblem, uh, blah blah blah. So only the body, so select none. Body import. And you see the front bumper. Uh, rear bumper import. Rear. Same, only the body file. Import. Shebang. Import for the bonnet. There it is. Import two and import uh, trunk. So trunk, you see, it got a lot of material because of the tail lights. So none. Body file import. There you go. So um, yeah, only the the body file first. So. Let's make this window bigger. And see, in 3ds Max 2015, you got this marvelous uh, layer um, thingy stuff. So I'll select them all. Press M for material. Just make a pick a color. Doesn't matter which one. So and drag. Assign to the selection. All right. So this is the beauty. Okay. Select all. Oh shit. I've got the skirt. Import skirt. There it is. Black. Black. And import. Select the whole. M. Uh, let's make a red color. Some of the guys don't know what I mean, but some do. All right. So this is a basic uh, Forza M5 F10 model. Okay. Now I've selected them all. Press J to see the outlines. All right. Um, go to modifier. Don't don't use it on this one. But uh, UV coordinates, on wrap, UV map. <laughs> Alright, now you see all those green lines. All those green lines means that this is like the border of the. You will see when uh, when I open the open UV editor. Make sure everything there is selected. So let's pop out this. So you see the left side, the top, and the right side. And you see the the front and the rear is not like common like the, the front bumper in the front on the left 
sorry, and a and a rear bumper on the right. So, what I'm gonna do? Well, mostly if I import a car into uh, Arfact, I just select these two, drag them up. I select these one. Oh, sorry, select all. Yes. Um, and I'm gonna resize it, and the resizing has to do with yeah, I got a slow computer so. On. So some things go very slowly. Um, so let's take the middle, for example, like here. Yes. All right. Now select the rear. Um, turn 90 degrees. Drag to there. You can use um, grid make sure it's um, it's in the middle uh, so let's make this in the middle like this yeah just like this and you can see the um, yes like this <laughs> uh, oh yeah the front Select the front, turn clockwise, drag and zoom in, make it centered like this. So uh, this is just an example, but normally I have a like a texture with lines, so I just pick a texture. Let me see if I still have an example of the uh, seat like this. See, this is like um, all these lines are like um, quarters lines, uh, so I can see if um, the width of this mesh is is the same as as the as the top view and the white of this side is the same as the front uh, from uh, top to end but that's for the next time so let's move this uh, move okay so basically this is your template um, what you're gonna do is now that make uh, the window uh, smaller and select tools Render UVW template, and this is this is now how to make your template. So you can um, nowadays you can use 4K templates. So 4K is uh, 4096, 4096, um, and you can set here your mode. So you gotta shade it. Uh, normals or solid um, just pick none uh, unclick show overlap so that means if some of the um, some of the edges yeah <laughs> if some of the edges cross uh, cross each other it's gonna be red so unclick it um, pick a pick a dark color uh, press ok click on this drag it to black and I'll click on render UV template so because I I used black it won't show it is there but it won't show so let's go mm, well let's go ahead um, and I'll say test BMW F10 make sure you save it in PNG and hit save. Leave this all stock. Wait for it. Okay, it's done. Click this away. Click this away. This. All right. And now right click on it. Convert to edible poly. This means um, you need to export 
every part of it to make UV map work. Because if you're gonna import another, so the same file I'm imported in, it won't show. So you need to save this, this files, to make it work in game. So uh, let's go to, let's click this away and this away. Go here. And here is our test document. Let's open it. It will open in Photoshop. <coughs> All right. You see, it's um. Yeah, I forgot the word. Never mind. Click on new layer. Drag it down. Pick a color. Use your bucket. Press once. Bang. And you have a template. Now, to make sure other people can use it, make sure you're gonna save it, save as, as a PSD, and the layers must be checked. Hit save, because this is in Dutch. Press save, this is a warning message, it's okay. Bang, and you're done. So, let's, uh, Let's do some stuff. Um, I'll pick uh, uh, white to see if it actually works. So let's say here. Oh, let's make them bigger. Like uh, let's say nap. Here, let's zoom in. Uh, I make it bigger. Show transfer, yes, would be nice. So nap, because that's my name. Control J, oh, sorry. Control D. Now drag, let's do this on all the sides. So, Control D. Uh, and let's do this. Go to it. Transform, rotate, yes. Let's make another one, J. <coughs> and let's pop it here on the trunk. Oh crap! Yeah, I'm not, I'm not l like really pro, so bear with me. Let's do this like this. Uh, okay. Now, an eye this. Oh, press. Right. Flat uh, merge layers or flatten image. Uh, for game users, use fla uh, flatten image. Press OK. And I know for R factor, uh, you need to save this as DDS. And hit uh, save. And this one of those pops out is the NVIDIA plugin. Uh, let's make it in the folder off. It's saving, saving, saving. Yes. Let's go to here. Press M. Click on the box. Bitmap. And here should be a file called in the DDS. Where is it? Should be here. Ah, there it is. There it is. Open. And there it is. My name in the rear. On the left. And on top. So this is how you UV map a car from Forza. Um, I know a lot of the guys don't do that because they don't feel like it or, or stuff. But yeah, this is like the proper way. It gives um, people like Skinners um, an easy way if if the front is on the front and the back is on the back, so they can, for example, for like color. 
difference from like f black in the front to white in the rear for that kind of stuff so um, yeah that was my first tutorial something is up let me know uh, remember I'm just a beginner uh, so yeah see you later for the next tutorial bye bye